happen and this is the next bit I get stuck on. <laughs> like what the heck are you supposed to do at this <laughs> <time>? <laughs> 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 Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. We are Hannah and Johnny, also known as Finding Our Adventure. In 2020 we converted our Ford Transit to live in full time. Since then we've been on an endless adventure with our two cats, Tia and Skye, exploring, living and working in our tiny home. Join us each week for a new episode of Finding Our Adventure. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to this week's episode of Finding Our Adventure. We have got a break in the bad weather. There is some blue sky around and the sun is shining and we are heading down to the beach to go for a surf this afternoon, which is really nice because we haven't done that for a couple of weeks. And we've had a, a very challenging week this week. Um, Tear and Sky have fallen out. They had a bit of a fight, which they've never really done before. So we were a bit confused as why they did it. So we've had to separate them, which is quite hard in a small van. And then we actually took them to the vets to see if there's any underlying health issues that might be causing them to not get on at the moment. And it turns out that Skye has a genetic um, tooth defect, so she's going to have to have an operation to have a couple of teeth removed. So hopefully um, the medication she's on at the moment, and um, we've also got a fell away like um, pheromone, pheromone um, room diffuser to ho hopefully calm things down. So hopefully once all that's done, they can um, get back to being friends and uh, this doesn't last too long. But we're just going to head down to the beach now. Hopefully the blue sky stays out and hopefully the surf is pretty good as well. So this isn't actually our first surf in a while. We did go surfing at Polzef a few days ago, which was really good. We both got out together and that was really nice. The conditions were perfect. So we're hoping to have a good surf today. It looks pretty flat to be honest, but we'll go make the most of it. And actually it's like the sea mist has rolled in again and it really reminds us of um, last year when we were in Portugal. So I'll try to link that video somewhere up here if I remember. But yeah, it's really cool. Hopefully the clouds blow away again. We get a bit of blue sky and hopefully, fingers crossed, we do some good surfing. Also, we have lost two fins on our boards. One, I accidentally ran over the van and so that broke. And another one, I didn't screw tight enough when we went in the water, so that floated away. And so we're left with one fin now. So it's not ideal, but it's still okay. Don't lose this one. I'll try not to. So we had a great surf, the waves weren't amazing, every time I kept catching a wave it would stop, which was a bit annoying, but I stood up a couple times and now it's the fun of trying to take the wetsuit off. My new wetsuit that I've got has got like an overhead bit and it's like the hardest thing to get off and I just asked for Johnny's help and he would rather film me doing it than actually help me. <laughs> so yeah, this is all for your entertainment everybody. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's like watching a babe, uh, an elephant giving birth. <laughs> yeah, what's that? What's that film? It's so true. Where he's going out the elephant's bum, or rhino's wow. bum. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it feels every time I'm going out there. It's really hard to get on as well. This wetsuit is really hard to get off. <laughs> this is where I, I get stuck for the next bit as well. 
happening on this is the next bit I get stuck on. <laughs> like, what the heck are you supposed to do at this <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trapped like a prisoner. <laughs> Come on, one of them's got to get free. <laughs> I'm gathering a crowd now, everyone's watching me. No, not really. Okay. I'm not bothering with the bottom bit. <laughs> Just going to keep that on for the rest of the day. <laughs> Just walking up the hill. And oh my goodness, there are flying ants everywhere. I think they're biting as well. But this is not fun when you're trying to walk up the hill after a surf and you're getting attacked by flying ants everywhere. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna swallow one. I've got a few stowaways on my shoulder. I think oh, there's loads on my back and I can't wait to have a shower. I'm also really unfit at the moment because we had what we think was a bit of COVID and um, it knocked us out for quite a while and we just had no energy. So only just starting to get our energy back and then did a surf and now feeling pooped. We've been back to the van and had a nice shower and we've got changed and we're heading back into town because we're going out for dinner tonight. We're going to a place called The Summer House and it's got a really good affordable menu and it's got a beautiful view right out across the beach. And also if it was a normal summer and we were going to have a sunset tonight, you'd have amazing sunset views. So fingers crossed the sun does come out because it is forecast that it's supposed to, but it's all gray everywhere. You know what it's been <laughs> it like in this country. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been one of those summers. So uh, yeah, we're going to go down there now and see what the menu's like. So we've just sat down and we've got a table, got some drinks and the sun is trying to come out behind the clouds. It's kind of tempting us so hopefully we will get some sun in a minute. And we've just ordered our food which will come in a bit as well but we're just going to enjoy the views overlooking Perrinporth Beach. So we're getting a nice sunset at the moment and our food has arrived. We've got fish tacos, chips and Johnny went with the pulled pork burger which comes with uh, slaw on the side. We had a very nice dinner and we were very lucky to get that lovely sunset. We're just walking back now to the van and we will see you tomorrow. Good morning everybody. We are up nice and early this morning to go for a run. This is one of our favourite trails in the area that we're staying. It's right along the cliff tops and it's absolutely beautiful to run along. <laughs> take in the scenery it's absolutely beautiful here at the moment there's heather everywhere so it's just like these bright pops of purple all along the coast the contrast against the beautiful blue ocean and um, yeah along here there's loads of birds and just beautiful sounds this morning so very lucky to run somewhere like this it's very inspiring whereas normally i, I could be bothered to run but I mean, this makes it worth it We have just made it to New Quay and Boardmasters has just started this week which is really exciting and we've been invited by one of the PR companies where we actually do a bit of work for DIY Creative to come and check out their stand and everything at Fistral. 
but before we go there, we're going to go get some lunch. So we're in the Box and Barber, and our food's just arrived, and we've also got a nice fresh juice, orange juice, we've got turmeric and ginger, and we've got sourdough toast with poached eggs. We finished breakfast and it was absolutely delicious and we've just walked up the hill to um, the location where our PR appointment is and we're just about heading inside now and we are so lucky with the weather today, it's absolutely beautiful, the sun is shining, it's nice and warm and I think we're just going to go have this appointment and then we'll catch you guys in a bit. So we just met the team and it was really nice to meet them, we had a nice time just seeing what they have available, we've got a few goodies with us and we're just heading down to Pistol Beach now which is where most of the surfing competitions are and then all of the music festival is back at Watergate Bay so it's very busy today, there's lots of people out and about and especially because the weather's nice as well but we're all making the most of it so yeah, just gonna head down to the beach now and see what's down there a really nice little spot where we can look on Fiscal Beach and there's a surf competition going on at the moment so we're just watching the surfers catch the waves. just come from Fistal Beach back into the town because I am going to be getting my hair cut. It's very long at the moment and is in need of some TLC so I am going to be getting my hair done by a curly hair specialist and it is at Row Hair so I'm just going to head in now and get it done and see if you can spot the difference afterwards. So I don't know if you can notice the difference but my hair is super curly right now. Um, Kimberly was amazing, she showed me how to look after my curls but also to make sure that I'm doing the right techniques and stuff when I'm washing and then also afterwards when I'm um, putting the product in so yeah we definitely recommend it it is a really good experience and she's literally um, just in the I'm not sure what, where the address we'll, we'll is we'll we'll, we'll, yeah we'll link it all below she's based in Newquay in Cornwall and she is a curly hair specialist so if you've got curls or you think you might have curls uh, definitely recommend coming to see Kimberly at Row Hair. Good morning everybody. So we are up very early this morning um, and that's because the past week we've mentioned about the cat's not getting on and Skye's teeth, um, she's got a genetic disease with her teeth which is causing her a lot of pain. So, and she's been, still been very off, like her temperament, we have just told, can tell she's really upset and just not herself. Um, so we've decided to try and get her teeth removed sooner rather than later and um, the vets have managed to squeeze her in today so this morning she's going to be having her operation to have her teeth removed uh, we've had to get up really early because it's in Truro and the traffic in Cornwall at this time of year is really really bad so we are up very early hoping that the operation will go well we're a little bit nervous um, but we're hoping that it will help her feel a lot better and her pain will go away and hopefully it will mend their relationship because we have been having to basically keep them um, contained away from each other in the van which is really difficult and Sky has been Sky has been really good but we've, at night time we've had to like let her out um, multiple times in the night so we've all not been getting very good sleep don't know if you can tell <laughs> so yeah so we're heading to the vets this morning and we will keep you updated on how it goes it's been a very intense week this last week and we have been a bit on edge because every time we've been letting sky out we've had to make sure that t is not near her because if they are close together they've been getting into quite bad fights um and that's why we when we went to the vet last week was just to see if 
one of them was in pain because apparently when a cat is in pain the other cat can sense it and the cat that's in pain also can get can lash out at the other cat so we think that's the reason why they're not getting on um, and we're also just trying to figure out hopefully eliminate the pain as the problem and then hopefully after that they'll get on we're really hoping that that's the issue because otherwise we don't know what we're gonna do um, because yeah we're in a van at the moment and there's no real separation that you can do in a van and it's not really fair on Skye at the moment because she's been spending a lot of time in her carrier we've been making sure that she's been going outside um, but her kind of behavior has been very much like she's very sad you can tell because she's not been purring and she doesn't make like her little noises that she makes um, you can even just like tell in her eyes it's so sad her eyes just look very like down and she just doesn't look like she's got any soul to her so it's very upset it's been really upsetting for us to see her like that um, and yeah it's gonna cost an arm and a leg to get this operation done but we are hoping that it will be the solution and even if it just means she's not in pain anymore um, hopefully it will bring back the sky we know Sky, you ready for your operation? No, no! Oh. Yeah. Do you know where we are? She sniffs everything at me. Okay, so Sky has been dropped off at the vet. We've gone through her um, consent forms and everything, so fingers crossed it all goes well, which I'm sure it will. Um, they're really nice vets, so they're going to take really good care of her. And we've just driven just down the road now to a place where we're near a park area that looks like there's lots of nice walks here. And I think we're gonna have some breakfast and then we're just gonna do some work, wait around a little bit, maybe go on a really nice walk and then we're gonna get a phone call later ready when we can go pick up Sky. So we've just come to pick up Sky from the vet. We had a phone call from them earlier telling us that she's been eating some food and seems to be okay since the operation. So very excited to see her and how she's doing and also pay a very big bill. So we've got Skye back and she is very, well she's quite, quite active now. She was very sleepy a minute ago. They've given her an injection, uh, like a opioid I think, painkiller. So they said that she's probably going to be a bit spaced out and hopefully it will help her through the night. But she's had 14 teeth removed, which is a lot of teeth. So it's basically all of her back ones, top and bottom. And she's only got her kind of like canine teeth, top and bottom, and then the front ones. So yeah, she's had a lot removed. Um, bless her. So we've got to look after her over the next few days and hopefully she'll be feeling better very soon. Hey. Good morning everybody. It's been a few days since Skye's operation and she seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, for the first few days she was very sleepy and a little bit unsteady on her feet but she seems to be recovering really well. She's slept really well throughout the night. She's been having little toilet breaks and little food breaks throughout the night but other than that she's been really good and we've also been getting her and Tia a little bit closer, a little bit more used to each other since then and there seems, the, the relationship seems to be on the way to being mended but there still seems to be a bit of a way to go so fingers crossed that all goes well. But yeah, the operation has been a massive success and she seems to be a lot more comfortable and purring, which is a great sign. So yeah, we're really happy about that and really glad to see that she's on, on the mend. So we've been chatting a lot recently about the direction of this channel and what we want to be doing over the next little while and maybe even a few years. And with our website growing at the moment and spending a lot of time focusing on that, we are going to have a little bit less time to make videos. There is still going to be lots of videos coming out. For the last three years or so, we've been making videos pretty much every week. It's not going to really be like that anymore. There might be breaks here and there for a week or two where we don't have a video. We've actually done that a little bit already this year where there's been a week here and there where we just haven't had a video. But we're going to be doing that a little bit more often. We'll still be filming all of our adventures. So when we are away on a project or a trip, we'll still be making videos of those. But there will be times where you know once a month twice a month maybe there just won't be a video so don't panic we're still gonna have lots of content coming and we'll keep you updated when we don't have a video or we do have a video coming out and uh, yeah thank you so much for supporting this channel and for watching this week's episode um, we're just heading off on a walk now and we're gonna enjoy the sun but we'll see you guys in the next episode